Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room and back to a story cube card Saturday. Let me get the cubes out. <laughs> kind of need those for this one. So, let's get our cube. Mess them around. Ew, what happened to that one? Probably ink, <laughs> realistically. <laughs> Get those all messed up. Take out three. Give these a shake. And then we'll get our theme. Whoosh. The. Yeah, I think it's ink. <laughs> so, like, right off the bat, the B is totally standing out to me. So if you guys have been following this week, I think it was on Mini Populator Monday, I talked about how I've been wanting to do B things. And I actually got my B stuff. <laughs> I got my stamp and I got my paper. But I also see this bare foot and I'm thinking, well, that really reminds me of beaches. And what if I want to do a beach card? Ooh, what if we do beach note cards? Little three by threes. Ooh. Or that could even be baby, like a baby foot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's see here. Where are all of my stamps? Like my new stamps. Oh, there they are. We've got this guy. And my stamp basket is getting kind of ridiculous. I need to do some cleaning in there. I need to finish cleaning so I can just do a tour here soon. Ah, ah. <laughs> Things are falling out willy nilly. Okay. <clears throat> here we go <laughs> some of those are not beachy so we will wade through here uh, wade and like, see like flip flops mm, is that cheating <laughs> is that like really off of theme I feel like there's no rules here <laughs> It's just, you, you get the prompt, and you go off of whatever you feel, you know? Does that make sense? Is that okay? <laughs> There's no rules to these challenges I make up. It's just to get you crafting, right? Alright. I think, I think we're going, we're going beachy, my guys. Um, I know, I totally wanted to go be, like just seeing that bee and I'm like whoa that's perfect but also I kind of feel the beach theme just some flip flops yes <laughs> okay so the question is oh you know what would be kind of cute doing the little luggage with like the flip flops propped up on it oh and then the little oh the little guy the little cocktail, <laughs> mocktail, mm. <laughs> just like right on it. Hmm. Let's see if we can make that happen. So realistically, we should do three by threes. That's what I'm thinking, right? No, that's going to be too big. So we're going to have to do a normal sized card. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. Ooh. Let's see. I don't have... Okay, I'm all out of white card stock. This is my last white card stock thing. <laughs> I have cream. Um, yeah, that's kind of a problem, right? <laughs> Especially when I'm working like this kind of dealio. But, oh, I think that's going to be fun. I think it's the logistics of it. So I just, I got to get into it and do it. I 
can't keep thinking about it. That's one of my main issues. So I just... And then, like, what is this card going to be? Is it going to be a hello card? Is it going to be a thank you card? That seems weird. <laughs> a sympathy card? Heck no. That makes no sense. So we've got the little luggage. Okay. Do, like, a vacation card. Is that weird, though? Um, I need, like, a piece of white to just stamp on. <laughs> Oh, I do not need that big block. I need this little block. And then I'm going to have to do like... <sighs> I'm going to have to either stamp them and cut them out. Actually, I could do the flip-flops on cardstock. On... Uh... A different color because it'll just be colored flip flops, right? <laughs> Should we do black flip flops? Um, yellow, green. I feel like a blue Ooh, would work pretty nicely. You know what? I'm gonna grab Stash Dash out. <laughs> I like how that's just what I call this box now. Stash Dash box. No. Scrap box. And let's just grab out some blues. Yeah, like that. That'll work. Some scrap blue. And let's do black ink. We'll see how that works. Make sure we're all inked up. Mmm, smells good. And I could probably do two. Looks like I could do one on the inside then. We'll wait and see. Oh, I need my little cutters. <laughs> my little cutters. Cutter bees, but I don't see those. So we're just going to use these guys. See, I was thinking of like leaving them together. But... I think I'm gonna... Ooh, these scissors are weird. Funky. I'm going to have to cut them out separately, aren't I? I wonder if I have a scrap white piece hanging out in that scrap bin. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut those out. I'm thinking. Cause just like hanging up there. Mm, I don't know about that. Do I have some white. I have colored pieces that have white on them. Ooh. Ooh. But that blue is like completely different. Oh man. My gosh. How are we gonna ever decide? Come on, I just need like a white scrap. Oh, that's early. Well, did I not throw any white in here? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's one. Oh, look, we've got more of these. Oh, golly. Does this come into like a stash dash, but not really, because I'm taking my time on it? <laughs> it's like, um... Stash Dash Hybrid. What the heck? What's the back? Stash Dash Hybrid of. Well, Hybrid of Stash Dash and. <clears throat> Story Cube Card Saturday. Golly, that took my brain a while to think of. It. I've got craft. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, more than more. Is that the pearly one again? Yeah. We'll bring it out just in case. That was like, ooh. <gasps> the more I dig, the more I find goodies. 
Mm -mm -mm. Here's some white. These are more like sentiment white. <laughs> sentiment. Uh, dimension white. Right here we go. That makes more sense. But we might we might do white. Oh, what's this? Eh, no. We might do the white for the flip flops now. That I've gotten kind of a a different green that I'm gonna be using. Or blue, but technically green. No, too yellow. I like the sandy. <laughs> um, there also is some brown. That might look nice. Oh, I need to do the luggage. Luggage. We need luggage brown. Suitcases. Ah, there we go. I couldn't remember what I called it before. There's another brown. That's a big brown for the suitcases. Ooh, here's some white. Boom. <laughs> when you don't have enough white on hand. <laughs> there you go. Alright, let's see what we can do with that. Let's see where we're going. Okay, I do think I'm going to stamp the luggage on the brown. Because, why not? We have it, right? This card's going to take some different turns here. I did say we didn't have no plan, right? <laughs> Let's make that apparent. <laughs> There's no plan here. <laughs> I think that's with most of the story cubes. And da stash dashes, realistically. You really have no plan. It just ends up being... What happens? Happens. That is so cute. I do kind of feel like we need to add some things in there. Like color up those pokas. I don't know if... My alcohol is going to be enough to work through that brown, though. Let's go ahead and cut it out. We'll leave a little bit of a brown edge, because I feel like that's what we're going to end up doing with all of these. Oh, and then the little cup. Dang. Okay. But realistically, we have that little... flip-flop template made out Oop. that we could put that down and then stamp the suitcase. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Do we have a large white? I think that's the largest we have. So if we did that and then stamped the... See, I need a better piece of white. <laughs> or see I'm afraid to use the white base because I'm a little hesitant of how this is going to come out let me see here with all of our little pieces try and uh, <laughs> see if they match up at all Ooh, these match up perfectly, actually. But that's going to be too much. We would need it, like, down here. Unless I did... That. That's way too much of that paper, though. The problem is these stamps are just a little bit too large. No, too small. <laughs> Went the wrong way there. Oh, I have a brown. Long strip. That's not really like a sea brown. So what if I did like right there? No, I want it like right there. 
That really doesn't leave much room or much stripe. Because then our luggage could go there with, see that doesn't even leave enough room for our cocktail. Mocktail, whatever we want. Where'd my flip flops go? Flip flops. They're under the. Oh no. Oh wait, is this? No. And then we would do the flip flops there. Kind of like that. With the mocktail. See, I'm thinking we have to go the other direction. Well, that would be perfect for our sentiment. Uh, we're going to need to go the other direction. Which gives us <laughs> a very awkward dilemma here. So we got that, and then we've got our brown. And then we would put our suitcase there. See what I would even need to go slightly down here. And then do our suitcase. Yeah, that should give us enough room for our cocktail. And then not much room for a sentiment. So we could actually move that to the center. Not quite center, but like that. Like that maybe see like this one's just kind of floating hmm. they need to look like they're I don't know. <laughs> I keep messing with it and realistically I should just do it and it'll happen. Because that's typically how it works. What if... Hmm, I feel a sneeze coming on. Let me pause. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I had a massive sneeze. I mean, all my sneezes tend to be massive, but that one sure needed to come out. Okay. What are our, what are our sentiments? The ocean is calling. No, no, no. The ocean is calling might work, but... Happy beach day. Let's head to the beach. Not too sure where we're going to take this. Wouldn't that would be kind of a cute anniversary card, wouldn't it? Kind of like you're going on a vacation for your anniversary. Or maybe even a birthday card. That might be nice. I wish this was longer. <laughs> I know I could just piecemeal it. No. Maybe if we do a different... I know it kind of works perfectly, but... It just isn't, isn't playing right here. Making a mockery. Hmm. That's 
like more green. I keep going back and forth between green and blue. I'm not sure where my mind wants it to go. I have just this like paint swatchy blue. I wonder how that looks. And then we could actually do the sentiment down here. Ooh. With our sandy. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello. I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down and we'll have some extra for the inside. <laughs> Just a little strip, but... <laughs> So now the question is, where'd that, there it is, running out of room fast here, <laughs> I wonder if I did like that, eh, not too big of a fan of that, ooh, what if I did that, did our stamping, Ooh, maybe not that brown. And then put the little cup on top. Okay, let's try that. If all those fails, we'll just cover this up with something and <laughs> we'll start again. <laughs> okay, so we need. How are we doing this? <laughs> So we have this guy, but we're also going to be putting our flip-flops down. So actually we need to use the flip-flop one. We position the flip-flops where we want them. No, oh, no. <laughs> and then everything is dependent on the flip-flops. <laughs> What I wish is they both look like the same shoe, uh, same foot direction. So I think that's where. What if we go like that, maybe? Okay, they kind of came out a little funky, but we're gonna be coloring them anyway, so. Should be fine. So now we need the little flip flop guy. Get our luggage stamp. Make sure we're all linked up here. We'll stick that down. We'll move that down here a little bit. Okay, there's a little, a little bit of weirdness here. I wonder if I can... Maybe <laughs> with the coloring that'll be fine. <clears throat> we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Kind of uh, made that a little weird. And then we put our little cup, a little drink. Should we do? We should do two because it's an anniversary, right? Let's go cut off the dang. Let me try. 
Well, that didn't stamp very well. Okay. We have our concept down. Ooh, oh, you know what? I just realized. When we cope it color, that's going to leak through. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well. <laughs> A, take a step back and rethink about this and also if it's an anniversary card we kind of want another flip-flop don't we hmm. what if we did the flip-flop with the sentiment and instead just did the luggage with With just the drinks which actually we have some sunglasses too Oops. Hmm. we might might do that I also kind of just like the luggage like that that's cute <laughs> all right well we have a white piece of paper now let me uh <laughs> get this guy off we do craft or I have this I feel like that's actually kind of cute yeah we'll stick him on here a good squeeze okay this is our new card base <laughs> let's set that over there I'm actually gonna move this jar it's getting on my nerves I'm making like a teeny sound <clears throat> okay let's do this again <laughs> actually I can just go ahead and stamp it down here because that's pretty much the same section size I'm going to do it down here. So if I do the luggage, I'm not liking the flip flops as much as I thought I would. I could just do the flip flops separate. Let's do our drinks. Actually, I'm kind of thinking, what if we do one drink up top? And then one drink down here. And then maybe sunglasses. I think those are all my beach stamps, if I remember correctly. Let's do these guys, but maybe because they're going to stamp like that. like that Ooh. <laughs> and then it's just kind of like it's floating dang <laughs> it's a little weird isn't that
Is it weird enough that I feel like I have to fix it? That's the question. Hmm. I feel like this is a very good anniversary card. We've got the two drinks, we've got the two sunglasses. Hmm. Or we could do the flip flops like that. Which I kind of like. Alright, we've got we have four more. <laughs> no, two more now. <laughs> We're just gonna keep stamping until we get what we like. I mean that works, right? <laughs> but we like the luggage. We like the the drinks. That one got smeared a little bit. I think it looks okay though. Drinks. Well, we like the top drink. And we like the top sunglasses. Except I want to move them just a smidge. a little bit more like they're actually placed on them. Oh, that's a little off. Oh, shoot. Perfect. Okay. So now the question is, do I like the two bottom ones or do I, I want to add the flip-flops? You know what I'm kind of thinking? What if I cut the flip flops. I'm cutting the flip flops. <laughs> cutting the flip flops in half. Well, cutting them into a single flip flop. Flip. Yeah. <laughs> Sandal. <laughs> That'll make it a little easier. Okay, so what if I do. Make sure we're inked up here. If I do it like this. And then we have the other flip. Um, actually, we could just do one flip flop. Huh. This is a... Is it, an, is it an interesting dilemma here? <laughs> I could just do one. Or I could do another one. Like crisscrossing. Kind of just feel like one works though, right? You just, you just forget to pack the other one. <laughs> so is this still an anniversary card? Because <laughs> we don't have two of everything? Hmm. Although we could put the sentiment still in there. It would fit. I do have the have a cool birthday. Huh. I'm, could be have a cool anniversary. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, it kind of works. I mean, right? Have a cool anniversary. Like I have a cool vacation anniversary. I kind of like that actually now that I keep talking about it. Um, what other sentiments? Life's a journey. Uh, sweet hello. Blah. <laughs> I 
No. These aren't really... It's party time. <laughs> good question because I'm thinking of you <laughs> while I'm on my vacation <laughs> how, how sad was that me <laughs> how about these guys these are too big aren't they party <laughs> treat yourself Oh, it's kind of too big. Mm, no. Those aren't really working either here. You know, I do have... Okay, I have a sentiment stamp for the inside of the card. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Which, who am I? I'm starting to put sentiments on the inside of cards. What? <laughs> Wherever I am, whatever I do, I'm truly happy when I'm with you. So a happy anniversary would actually be pretty cute. Um, I only have the word anniversary, so I need a happy... Oh wait, there is happy. Durr. I was like, that's weird that they wouldn't include that. They did. <laughs> Happy. Ugh. Anniversary. Now the question is, do we put that in black ink? Or do we do that in a separate color? Like a blue. It'll be like this. Hmm. Or do we put it in like that brown? That's kind of what I'm thinking. What I'm leaning towards. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut this guy up. <laughs> oh, I need my trimmer. He hasn't been out today, so I had to get him from the actual spot where he's supposed to be. So four and a quarter and what's the two and three quarters that should work right we even had one more try left look at that <laughs> That looks like it's a little bit too big. Oops. I mean, I could go over top of this guy a bit. Alrighty. He needs some more tape on him, I think. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I actually kind of like that. And then what if we did... <clears throat> Excuse me. We did that there. Eh. Did that guy. Is that going to be enough for room for that sentiment? Where did it go? I lost that. <laughs> not much room. I think we might have to take the sentiment down here. Hmm. Why don't we color this up and then worry about those logistics later. <laughs> oh, that sound. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I am running out of room rapidly. Stick that there. 
<laughs> that should be fine. Okay, so blues. What is that? Let me grab this guy. Eh, that's fine. It's okay. Oh, that's really dark. I actually kind of like that though. Maybe that with the shade of that. Mm, okay. And then we need a color for our drink, which we could do the same blue, realistically. Uh oh. Something was sliding. Oh, what color are we doing the flowers in, though? <laughs> I would love, like, if somebody sent this as an anniversary card, but they didn't have a vacation planned. And then they were like, hey, we should go on a vacation. <laughs> like, use it as a... As a plant into the brain. <laughs> My stomach is a growling. Been a while since I've actually sat down and colored. My gosh. And we can also do the straps. Don't actually really need to do much shading there, do I? I do think I'm going to do the sunglasses in blue. It goes dark blue. Yeah. I need to get like a gray. I feel like most drinks like that are kind of a red. Oh, I feel like all these reds are really dark though. I'm kind of thinking, what if we keep going with these these guys? They seem to be pretty. Oh, he snuck in there. <laughs> Maybe not the olive green. Ooh, that would be kind of fun. Oh, maybe that should be the drink. Mm. Ooh, yeah. So fancy. Oops. We need a blue for the cup itself. We need like a really light blue. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Let's do... Should we do yellow with the blue? I've got gold. Yeah, I feel like the gold kind of is cool. And then maybe with all of the little accents on the luggage, we will do the gold as well. Or maybe red. I feel like we should put some red in here. Leave that out just in case. What's this color? Ooh, a mandarin. That's almost red. It's more orange. I like it. Ooh. 
Oops. A little over. Okay, so do the polka dots. This is going to be a kind of a long video, huh? For one card. <laughs> And then, oop, this little strip right here. And then, eh, I feel like that's all pretty much hardware. And I'm going to do the gold with that. And then we need some browns and we need a gray. Um, walnut. That's going to be way too dark. Uh, it's, that's pretty dark. That might be an option though. I do have this like tan. Well, here's one actually. That's a little bit darker. Oh, khaki. Yeah, let's do khaki. It's more of like a green. Mm. I want more brown. I think I do. More of like a... That's green. <laughs> That's not what I want. I need to open up the next tray. Apricot? No. <laughs> Cinnamon might work. And we need a gray, like a light gray. I don't see one. Um, the khaki would kind of work. Champagne. Yeah, we'll do champagne. It works. It's not gray, but it's still, you know, colors in that. All right, cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon's going to be it. Just trying to concentrate. <laughs> Went silent, huh? And that's why it's a little hard to do the videos while I'm coloring. Because I just tend to go silent. It's been a while since I've done, you know, stamping and coloring and all this. Kind of move towards the ephemera technically making my own ephemera now right <laughs> alrighty I feel like that guy in the glass needs a little bit more blue we used the, do we use the cobalt for that? No. There was a different blue that we used. Cool aqua, maybe. Just 
Put on a little bit more. There we go. Let's move all these guys now. Back to their bin. Done with that. So now I could leave it on the white, which actually it doesn't look too bad. I could cut it out. Which I'm kind of thinking, what if we moved it over here? Ooh, hoo hoo hoo. Where's that brown piece? I had a brown strip. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's not it, but. Do I want. I'm kind of. Okay. We're going to do it. We're just. <laughs> I'm going to do it. We're going to see what it looks like, and hopefully it looks how I want it to look. right on the edge there. Give us a little bit more room up top. do the happy anniversary up there. Or I could do that guy. Nope. I think I'm going to do the happy anniversary stamped right in there. Question is, do I do it in black or do I do it in blue? Like black probably would be best. It'll stand out the most, especially with it not being like anchored to anything. It's kind of a floating sentiment. Cute. Cute, cute. It does need something though. I'm not sure what that is. A little strip here, maybe? That's kind of cute, but I feel like it would need to match up there. Unless I took it up a little smidgen and did it like there. Nope. It's up a little bit more. Then you can't see it. Hmm. What's I just did? A little section there. Meh. Not too fond of that. What if I do a, a set of banner pieces? Coming off of here. Hmm. This is an option. A very viable option. <laughs> scissors. I feel like I do need a little bit of brown. Huh. 
I'm not too sure if I'm liking this. Where did that brown piece of paper go? Lost it somewhere. I have another one right here. I'll just grab that. What if I just did that guy? Right there. Yeah. I like it. Okay. That'll give us a little bit to decorate on the inside as well with that. luggage thing in the on the inside cute <laughs> I already cut this guy Ew, dang it I did that and then did a little banner piece a few banner pieces maybe oh that yellow Okay, I kind of like it. I feel like I need maybe another banner piece though. Maybe a brown or that sand colored one. It needs something on it though, like a stamp or something. I think that's just my brain that I typically go to pattern paper instead of uh, plain. I actually kind of like it like that. Hmm, something's off though, I think. My brain keeps telling me to do something. I'm not sure what it is. Ooh, maybe just like that? Instead of them being the same height, kind of shift it up. Ooh, bingo. Bingo, bingo. I got it. Just needed a little, a little bit of attention there. <laughs> Still feel like I need something here though. I 
Happy anniversary. Head to the beach. No. Maybe just some bling. I mean, I don't feel like it needs it. I feel like it's fine. I think there's just something in my brain, you know? <laughs> Maybe we'll do the inside and then kind of go from there. So we've got some of that brown left. Ooh, we could do just a little banner piece. Perfect. Kind of mimic the outside a smidge. Ooh, that's and then we can just do a little piece of that. Perfect. And then we've got our inside sentiment. put our luggage I think that would be kind of cute I think right there doesn't leave much room for writing we could do it on the opposite side let's put our sentiment down our inside sentiment this one would be perfect for a guy let me tell you I think that's why I'm heading towards the not using gems this is the right one right Wherever I am, whatever I do, I'm truly happy when I'm with you. Is that correct? Am I... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'll be a good anniversary one. Checking to make sure I'm not... It's more of an anniversary card to your spouse than... An anniversary card from somebody else. I just stick it right on up here. Oh, dang, that it's a little messed up. Hmm. I put it on here and then put it down here instead. I'm actually kind of liking that. And then maybe sicken a little luggage like right there. No. I do kind of like th that though. Let's see how that turns out instead. Get it really nice and juicy. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. I think just that, whatever that paper is made out of, it soaked up some of the juices a little weird. Hmm. Yeah, I think just like right there. I could put down a white writing space, but I think this is going to be fine with a black pen. I think it'll be perfect. And then we have our little luggage. We could, oh, we could put it right there. That would be pretty cute. We could put it like right there. Oh, right there. And then that just leaves a little bit of writing, or a little signature. And then maybe you could put your. I'm also kind of leaning towards over there. Or even right here. Mm. Yeah, I think I like it over there just a smidge bit more than 
all the other places. Just kind of ties everything in, right? Still a very masculine card. Uh, I still feel like I need something down here. Maybe a banner right here. Hmm. Something that's just a little off. If it was a little smaller, yeah, that would work. I'm not too happy with it though. <laughs> Maybe if it was an actual banner. Yep. Something that needs like. Something else. <laughs> what is it? What am I missing here? My instinct is just telling me to do bling. So that's like the easiest element to add here. But also... I think that's what it needs. We'll see. <laughs> we'll put it on and we don't like it. Just three little blingies. Is that all we need? I think it definitely helps. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely helps, but I don't know. What is it? What are you telling me? I feel like the banner looks good, but I would need another banner with it. Maybe a blue? Do I have another blue? Oh, I do have another blue. Hmm. 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 Oh my gosh, okay. Let's do our banner first. Actually, I don't even need that large of a size. Probably even smaller than that guy, but right here. that. Definitely I think want the blue on top, don't I? Okay, let's take the bling off. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, the bling might be on there. Well, we're definitely putting something down there now. Just a matter of what. Maybe if it was like that. Take off 
a smidge here. Maybe if it was smaller. I'm thinking these guys don't really go well. You don't really need them. From an overall card standpoint, it's good. Like, it's done. <laughs> but for some reason... My brain just keeps wanting to add in more. And I'm like, stop. <laughs> We've got it. We've been done. For some reason. Oh, golly. This guy is going to be a pain. There we go. Again, I like it, yet there's like something that I feel like we're missing. I don't know. Let me see if maybe removing these would help. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I was just confusing myself with too many elements there. I think that's... You know, I wonder if I put these guys down here. If that... Mm, I kind of like that, actually. A little bit better. Yeah. Just confusing myself with too many elements. <laughs> okay. But golly, yeah. I was like... It, this card's done. I just, I can't, I kept giving myself elements that needed more elements to go with them. <laughs> but gosh, I love this card. That is so cool. It will be so perfect for a male anniversary card. Even though it's beach themed and stuff. So good. I love it. I think it's all the browns again. Oh my gosh, you guys. Am I going into brown mode? <laughs> Let's do all the browns. <laughs> and then we'll do all the grays. No. <laughs> but there is our flip-flop. Oh no, it was barefoot. That's what it was. Boop, boop. Our story cube card Saturday is done and <laughs> this one took us a while <laughs> all right guys thanks so much for hanging out with me for story cube card saturday i hope you're having a crazy day go crazy not bad crazy i'll see you in the next one bye guys